Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. Um, today, we're going to work on the samurai a little bit. Um, first things first, though, I got something in... I got something in the mail, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what it is. It's it's pretty sweet. Let me tell you, it's pretty sweet. Ooh. I wish this thing could zoom faster. It's kind of kind of painful. I got this. I didn't really get it in the mail. I ordered it through AutoZone Duralast. It's not really anything cool. It's just a new steering rack for my car, but that means I'll have power steering, and that's pretty cool because I currently don't. But that's new rear subframe that I got a while ago. It's a different story. Yep. So, um, we gotta do some stuff. And, uh, gonna work on the shmammy. You gotta put the leaf springs back on. Shout out to freaking McDonald's for having a disgusting coffee. I need my gloves. It's cold as balls out here. It's like a whopping... You know what? I'm gonna check the freaking temperature right now. Because I don't even know. Well, it's less cold than I thought it would be. Anyways, it's 40. That's right, Paco, it is 40, huh? You feel it, you feel all... Hey, who said you could jump? LeBron James said you could jump, huh? Ooh, it actually unlocked the first time. I say that because usually that lock gets stuck when I put my key in, it doesn't turn. That was a good burp. Alright, so the gloves are on, the Paco is out. Now we gotta work on this piece of junk. Alrighty, so I need to... Uh, this freaking vehicle. I wonder where all that crap came from. So these leaf springs, if you look at this one right here, it's like, not on there. And then if you come to the back, boy, U-bolts around the shock, what in the, what in the hell, what in the hell's all that? Alrighty, I guess I'm gonna do the front first, I think this is gonna be just quick and dirty, um... I probably should lock tight those, but it's too cold, so I'm not worried about it. What size is that? It's like a 17. If I'm right, one of you owes me a dollar. Oh my goodness, ya boy. Ooh. Oh gosh. <clears throat> Yeah, that don't. This isn't gonna be very difficult at all. I just gotta kind of put it back together. But then I got other stuff to do, which will be fun. Alrighty, so I got the front all on, and now I'm under here, under the Samurai, as you can see. And, um, I was looking at these spring... Leaf spring plates, or whatever they're called, these. I don't know what they're called. And I was looking at this, because it was, it was, I don't know, a long time ago, it was like a month or so, when these came off. And I'm just now putting them back on, so I kind of forgot how it all goes. I mean, it's not very hard, there's four, there's not even four bolts, there's two U-bolts, but... I was looking at this and I was like, how in the hell does that bolt I was like, that don't fit at all. It's like all goofy. And I was like, maybe it goes this way. I was like, no, it sticks up too high. But I'm an idiot because you can see right there. It goes in the bottom. The only thing I'm kind of bummed about is in my tool set, it's a 7 8. And I don't have a 7 8 deep, I just have a regular 7 8. So I have to get these started, crank them as much as I can, and then go get a 7 8 deep. Which is a real bummer. It's not a real problem, but it's a bummer. And, um... Uh-oh. Uh, there you go. Alrighty, so I got it all bolted back up. The Sammy's 
the leaf springs are all bolted, so. All right, so, uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing to the Samurai exactly, um, or even why I'm tightening the leaf springs, why were my leaf springs ever untightened in the first place? Well, uh, my dad with the big blue Jeep that you've probably seen before, he was at this off-roading event called the Chili Challenge, and uh, he broke a leaf spring. I'll show you the broken one. Right there is a broken leaf spring. And um, he thought that my samurai springs would fit because they're Wrangler springs, but his are longer and like lift springs, so they didn't. He just wanted a temporary fix so he could run like one more trail or something. And they didn't fit, so that's why they're off. Well, they were off. Um, so that's all hooked back up, and now. Now I, maybe I'll try to get it to idle. Maybe I'll do that next, because I can do that. That's kind of easy. I can't do the gauges slash interior stuff until I go to AutoZone and buy a couple more gauges. I think just one or two. Um, I don't know. I can, uh... Start messing with the parking brake or the actual brakes, but once again, I still need to go to AutoZone and get brake lines. Um, yeah. Oh, and here's let me show you. Let me show you the brakes here. All right. So see, here's where the the rear brake lines are just wrapped, and they go over here. Here's one crimped. There's the other crimped, and if you look at these, where's it at? <laughs> right uh, there. You can see where the brake lines uh, connected and they're both freaking brat. Same on this side, right over there. But yeah, and eventually I would like to finish the exhaust. Make it come out like, I don't know, somewhere back there. Because right now, uh, I guess it's all set. I probably shouldn't have done that. There we go. Um, yeah, there's where the parking brake goes, right there where that little square is. But yeah, I need to finish the exhaust. That custom literal straight pipe. This is a stock CRV muffler. But it doesn't sound bad. Like it's, uh, I like the way the Sammy sounds. Even though it's a small four cylinder, it sounds pretty decent. But yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at right now. There she is. There's the beastly samurai motor right there, all 1.370 horsepower of it. Ooh, ooh, boy. But yeah, the motor's all stock except the header right here. It's a um, uh, what is it? Low range. Let's see it right there. Low range header. A lot of stuff is on this is low range. Uh, the NOS kit, a little bit of America, Batman because F yeah. Um, I added power steering, that's new. Aluminum radiator, well it's not new but that's like not factory. And then that, which look at the mean stretch, because these aren't 34 millimeter like that right there. Or when I bought one for the 240 I bought two of them. And uh, look at these hoses are not 34 millimeter, they're like probably 28 or something like that ridiculously it was so hard to get that on there like I'll never take that off because you can see the stretch it was ridiculous this is the propane kit right here and uh, AutoZone special AutoZone special AutoZone special oh I should probably get a battery if I'm gonna start this alrighty so I gotta get a battery for the gotta get a battery for the Samurai real quick um, and hopefully it'll start. It should start. Like I said, it should start. I. It started two months ago when I started it and drove it, and it worked just fine. So it should start, but it shouldn't idle. It never has idled.
Oh, I gotta turn the propane on. Freaking 2JZ. In the way. Alright, propane's on. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't think the battery is hooked all the way up because I got nothing. Look at that, it took like literally, I don't know, what was that? Five, ten seconds, something like that? Right up. This thing hasn't ran in like two months, so not very long, but. Oh yeah, started right up. Alrighty, so right now, I don't know if you can see, kinda, it's idling at, what is that, probably 1200? But like, it's idling by itself. Been messing with the idler screw. So there's the idler screw right there, and that little block right there that's touching that little dowel. This, that little block that's touching that dowel. This screw is like all the way out, pretty much. But if I do one. Maybe that's lower, who knows. See, I turned it down just a tiny bit, it's still over a thousand. I'd like to get it under a thousand. I don't know how accurate that RPM's gauge is, but I think it's pretty accurate. Nah, it's definitely accurate. Yeah, I can't really turn it down anymore, because if it idles at like 8, it starts idling at like 800, it just doesn't idle. what that is. It's not really hard, it's just kind of tedious. Oh, that's right at a thousand. I like it there. That, if it could stay there, that'd be convenient. But I think since it's so loose, it like jiggles. It wants to jiggle out. But I mean, hey, right now... all the way warmed up. It's idling over a thousand again. Also, this spring is not very strong. I need a stronger spring. See, if it could idle right there, that'd be ideal. Because I think that's like right at a thousand. No, that's under a thousand. That's like 950. They could idle right there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. But then you rev it. You see it's idling higher. There's this stupid spring. There we go. The spring isn't very tight. Very loose spring. So I need to, think, I need to get a bigger spring then. And just leave the idler screw right there. That was way easier than I thought it would be. 
Um, yeah, that was way easier than I thought it'd be. Alrighty, so today um, we put the leaf springs on, got it to idle, which neither of those things are very difficult. It just, you know, they weren't very time consuming either. So did just little cheap, easy stuff. Well, not even cheap, we didn't spend any money. Little easy stuff that um, didn't take long. But, well, the leaf spring, it kind of took long just because of the bolts being all stupid. Um, this didn't take long at all. It started like right up and it, it idle was fine now. I don't think it'll stay like that because once again that spring sometimes I'll rev it and it'll get stuck at a higher idle. So I just gotta get a new spring for that and then I gotta do I gotta get new gauges. I'm definitely I don't know if the I don't think the volts is hooked up. I think it works though. So maybe a new volts gauge, but definitely a new temp gauge because that doesn't work. And then I don't know, some other gauge. Anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good one, and I will see you next time. Remember, you got, you gotta always, and I can't stress this enough. You always, always, always gotta put your shoes in the microwave. All right, don't forget it. Shoes in the microwave. Thirty seconds will be fine. I'll see you guys next time.